My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area, and today I'm going to teach you how to pop shove it. Now the first thing to this trick is making sure you're feeling really comfortable on your board, just riding around and pushing. I want you to have done this a lot so you feel really comfortable. And this is a beginner's trick, so this is really something that you can learn right after you get really comfortable pushing around and just riding your board. One thing that might help you for this and any other flat ground trick that you're going to learn is putting your back wheels into a nice crack. A nice crack that holds your wheels tight so your board doesn't roll as you work on it. Now the next thing is the foot placement. Notice my right foot, it's just down from those two bolts. It's at a little bit of an angle, just kind of like a kickflip would be. And my left foot is on the tail, and I really want you to notice how my toe is off the side of it. The toe hanging off the side is very important to getting a really nice scoop of the board. So the foot position on this particular trick is very important and that is what it is right there. Now, the next step is really how you're going to do that motion of your back foot. Notice how my foot curls under and my foot kicks straight back. On this particular shove it, the board does not pop. It just goes straight back. It's just a shove it. It's not yet a pop shove it. So I want to show you this motion again. My foot curls down and then it just kicks the board back. My front foot stays on the board the entire time, just guiding it as it goes around. As you can see there, it barely even moves. It just comes up off the board a little bit and the back foot does really all of the work. I want you to really get the importance of the foot placement and the scoop of your back foot. It's called a scoop because your toe curls underneath like to the side of the board and then you kick it back. It's just the most appropriate word to describe it, I guess, because it's not really a sweep, but it's more of a scoop. Practice this a lot, because it's going to help you later. Now the next thing is putting the pop into the shove it to make it a full pop shove it. This is really the exact same thing, but only this time you're going to pop your board off the ground. So after you've practiced tapping your board on the ground a little bit and you feel like you got that motion, the next step is just going straight for it and scooping the foot like is shown right here. Notice the motion of my back foot as it scoops the board around, spinning it into a 180. The next step is your front foot. Notice my front foot. It barely comes off the board right here. It just guides it around the whole time. It's very important to leave that on because your board can flip and you can land with your board sideways or upside down and obviously this is not going to work. And now notice my back foot right there on that scoop. So put your feet in the position and then just slap it around. You don't have to hit your tail super hard, but just hard enough to get it lifted off of the board. Also, this is going to be the first trick that you really learn where you're going to be jumping up into the air and your board is going to be do something under you. This is going to help you to learn kick flips later, 360 flips, and many other tricks. So definitely practice this one a lot and get it really down. Feel free to leave me a comment asking for help on this or any other trick. But what I really want you guys to do is video your best attempt upload it to your own YouTube, and then send me the link so I can really see what you're doing and help you out with it that way. Don't forget to subscribe, check out all these other videos, and please help me out by sharing these with all of your friends.